An NOPD prostitution bust leads to 30 arrests, including one of officers' own. One particular person who approached a prostitute who was an undercover police officer flashed NOPD credentials, or what the undercover officer believed to be NOPD credentials. One new Covington council member's term may be over moments after it officially starts. If it is, if it is proven and ruled that he has two homestead exceptions and he cannot qualify for this office, then it's going to cost the city of Covington money to have a special election. The Fox 8 defenders investigate 18 complaints from people who say they got taken for a ride by Festiva Adventure Club, but not the one they paid for. Your guide to perfect summer skin. The newest weapons to protect against aging and keep that healthy glow. It's Friday, July 1st. Fox 8 News at 6 starts now. Live in HD from WVUE-TV New Orleans, this is Fox 8 News at 6. You're watching Fox 8 News. Time now, 643. July is UV Safety Month and really couldn't come at a better time. With temperatures soaring near the triple-digit mark and lots of folks, I'm sure, headed outside this weekend. But before you go to the beach or the pool or just outside in general, don't forget to put on that sunscreen. Dr. Sarah Jackson from Turo Hospital joins us this morning. Thanks so much for getting up. We appreciate it. Thank you. We all know sunscreen is important both for protection against diseases like cancer, but, but also for cosmetic, for how your skin looks. Absolutely. What are some of the best products on the market, and is there a difference? Are all sunscreens created equally? Okay, so the sunscreens are graded by Sun Protection Factor, which is SPF, which we're all familiar with. And so sunscreen products in the market today are graded the SPF factor as against UVB. The FDA has recently said that they would like to regulate UVA, and so that's how we grade sunscreens. In general, when you're looking at broad spectrum sunscreens that combat against UVA and UVB, you have products like this one, which are a combination of physical and chemical blockers, which um, have a lot of sunscreen protection and are SPF 50. And then you can move on to products that are only the physical blockers, which are great for sensitive skin, people with rosacea, or children who have eczema. This, these products don't burn. And these are the physical blockers, like zinc and titanium. And you can get some excellent products that have only zinc and titanium. And then for men with hairy areas or um, <laughs> places where you feel like um, you don't want that creamy look of a sunscreen. There are some pure chemical sunscreens that have only the um, chemicals that penetrate into the skin. Therefore, they don't sit on top of the skin and give you that greasy look. Um, Bullfrog is an example of a good gel. Why would you not want to use something that didn't sit on top of your skin and look greasy? So. I think that some chemicals can burn people, and the physical block blockers are a little more natural, and so some people just prefer a, a, a natural protection against the sun. Gotcha. The, in, the other products that are nice in the market today are these sticks. I have two examples of sticks here. Uh, the children tend to like the sticks, mm -hmm. and they're easy, to, they're easy for my bikers and people who exercise to keep with them. Um, this is an example of uh, Vino has out this year of a pure zinc and titanium block and um, so that will not burn children's faces. And then there's the more traditional um, combination physical and chemical sunscreen that would be a stick. Um, one of the most exciting products on the market right now for the summer is Neutrogena's Wet Skin. Um, it's formulated with a molecule that penetrates through water into the skin and so you can apply it even on wet skin. Huh. Now how does it work? Um in terms of coming off. You know, whenever I get out of the water, I feel like I better spray again. Does it last longer? Okay, so that's an excellent question, and that is one that the FDA has included in their regulations. It is unknown, as far as these sunscreens go, uh, regulation for how long they will last mm -hmm. in the water. The FDA now, in 2012, you will start to see on packages the water resistance for 40 or 80 minutes, so that you will know how long you can wear a sunscreen before you then have to reapply. Although we do recommend that any sunscreen should reapply every two hours. Every two hours, okay. Another exciting product is the incorporation of antioxidants and other things that protect from sun. Oh. Um, and so the, this is Supergoop, a, a, um, a small company, but they do a few little extra things, like they have a green tea in this wipe, and they have um, a kai berry in their lip balm. So you can add other products to sunscreen in order to make it um, either more elegant or have antioxidant properties. So I know those are good for your skin. They're in the creams I use at night and Absolutely. stuff like that. Is there enough in here to do much good? Does it really make a difference? Well, I would have to say that the ingredients that they add do not contribute to the sun protection factor. So they are contributing to skin care in general, and they have 
you know, antioxidant properties. Probably vitamin C is the best studied antioxidant, and that prevents free radical damage in the skin. But I wouldn't say that these extra additives contribute to sun protection. Gotcha. So still use still the use, stuff you're using at night. Absolutely. Every little bit helps. Absolutely. Real quick, new sunscreen guidelines that are out. What do they do? What, what's, what's the main gist? So when consumers were looking at products and saying, you know, how, what coverage am I getting? The FDA wanted to modernize this. So you're going to now, when the, uh, in 2012, when the label says broad spectrum, you can be confident that it protects against both UVA and UVB. You can be confident when it says water resistant that you know how many minutes it's going to be water resistant for, either 40 or 80. And then you can also know exactly where to look for the ingredients. And there's going to be a drug fact box, just like we're so used to seeing now on our cereals and all of our foods, that it's going to say exactly what is in the product, how long it's going to last, and whether it truly protects you from skin cancer and premature aging. Dr. Sarah Jackson from Turo, thanks so much for all your insight Thank you. this morning. Have Thank a great you. fourth. Thank you.